please subscribe. Just when it seemed Toyota had shook the Avalon's sleepy, old person friendly image with a zesty redesign for 2013, along comes this hybrid variant to conjure it right back up, right? But, lo, the Avalon hybrid doesn't negate the cool points earned by the latest gas model. It is as stylish as that version, and it is easily the bell of the big sedan ball next to its only gas electric competitor, Buick's La Crosse Assist Mild Hybrid, and the hybrid asks only that you sacrifice some acceleration and a little extra coin relative to the comparison test twinning V6 Avalon. Two cylinders go missing, a battery fills in. In place of the regular Avalon's 268 horsepower, 3.5 litre V6, the hybrid gets the 156 horsepower, 2.5 litre 4 cylinder and 141 horsepower electric motor combination employed by the Camry hybrid. A CVT like planetary gearbox transfers the system's combined 200 horsepower to the front wheels and a 1.6 kWh nickel metal hydride battery pack provides juice while eating only 2 cubic feet of trunk space. As you'd expect, the less powerful hybrid's 8.4 seconds 0 to 60 time is 2.3 seconds slower than the V6 models, but it feels adequate in normal traffic. In exchange for being slightly slower than the V6, the Avalon hybrid gives much better fuel economy. The EPA estimates the hybrid will return 40 miles per gallon in the city and 39 miles per gallon on the highway 19 and 8 miles per gallon higher than the gas model's 2131 ratings. We averaged 33 miles per gallon, beating a V6 Avalon Limited we recently tested by a substantial 12 miles per gallon. Not bad, considering we saw 30 miles per gallon from the lighter 2012 Camry Hybrid and 32 from the 2013 Ford Fusion Hybrid in other recent tests. The fuel economy story's happy ending is partly provided by the hybrid's F-only mode. This locks the Avalon into electric-only operation up to about 20 miles per hour for up to 1 mile, according to Toyota. With a fully charged battery, confirmed by the dashboard screen's power flow display, we managed 2.6 dizzy, fossil fuel-less miles circling our office parking lot on electric power. There are three other manually selectable drive modes, normal is the default, sport summons sharper throttle tuning and heavier steering effort for friskier moments, and eco dulls throttle inputs and meters the A, C compressor to enhance efficiency. Staying in F mode especially from a stop demands a gentle right foot and a heaping helping of patience. We found that the Avalon could maintain up to 45 miles per hour on electric power alone, but the gas engine is required to reach that speed. Lift off the accelerator while at a steady sub 50 mile per hour cruise on level ground or down a hill, and the electric motor takes over. Gently step back onto the gas, and you can sail along on electrons alone. A low battery, a grade, or abrupt throttle changes will reawaken the engine. Abandon the eco conscious agenda, and the hybrid won't bore you silly. Like the V6 Avalon, the hybrid is far more engaging to drive than Avalons of yore, as well as every other hybrid Toyota offers, thanks to a less willowy structure, beefed up suspension uprights and increased troll stiffness. But even as the car is more reactive, it still maintains a comfortable and quiet ride. The well-built, Lexus-like interior is stylish, and the capacitive touch dashboard controls are nicely executed and respond quickly. Toyota Hybrid, meet Lexus's Hybrid. Our top-of-the-line limited test model included hid headlights, a power sunroof, three-zone automatic climate control, a 7-inch in-tune infotainment screen, a backup camera, a 10-way power driver's seat, an 8-way passenger seat, perforated leather seating surfaces, heated and ventilated in front, heated in back, push-button start, and a power rear sunshade. Our tester also had the $1,750 tech package, 
adaptive cruise control, automatic high beams, and a pre-collision system, a $200 wireless phone charger, $88 worth of first aid and emergency assistance gear, $225 floor mat, and $395 blizzard white pearl paint, for a pricey total outlay of $44,853. At this price, the Limited encroaches on Lexus ES300H hybrid territory. Two lesser trim levels, the XLE Premium and the XLE Touring, are offered, and all three are between $1,750 and $2,345 more expensive than their gas-powered counterparts. The Toyota and the Lexus share a powertrain and platform and weigh within 20 pounds of each other and even come with similar levels of equipment. Stick with the base $35,365 XLE Premium or $38,060 XLE Touring, and you'll get ES300H matching fuel economy and flash for less as well as Toyota's best driving hybrid.